Hi everyone, this is Kate Holloman and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be drawing a strawberry with colored pencils, so let's get to it. I am going to be using my favorite, favorite brand, Kohenor Polycolor colored pencils. They are fabulous and I just recently got a big set, so I'm really excited about that. These are the colors we're going to be using and it should be enough to get a nice plump strawberry going. Okay. Let's start with the basic shape. So if you look at that, you can kind of see that there is a large circle right in here and a smaller circle right in here. They are connected with a very slightly curved line. We're going to have a lot of seeds. We're going to pre-draw these as well, but actually not with a red pencil. We're going to go ahead and we're going to color the seeds with light colors. And if you take a close look at a strawberry, you can usually see that um, the seeds color ranges anywhere from yellow, orange, green, all the way to red. It really depends on how ripe the strawberry is or which type it is. So this would be the top of the strawberry. This would be the bottom. And the seeds face basically the same way. So they're going to be bigger on the top and pointy on the other side. I used to color them the other way as if they were raindrops falling down, but it's actually the other way around. So the seeds follow the general direction of the shape of the strawberry. And as you can see, I'm not coloring, I'm not, I'm not drawing them everywhere because um, we're going to be using a variety of color here. So here we have some yellow ones. We're going to draw just a few green ones. I don't want this to be a very unripe strawberry, but there's usually just a couple of them somewhere. So we're going to add them. Now we're going to add some orange ones. This is actually quite dark. I'm gonna go ahead and use a lighter color. I must have dropped some of them because they break a little bit. That's a tricky thing with colored pencils. If you drop them, you can have problems. Um, here we go. So with a lighter orange, I'm going to draw the other ones. This might be a little loose, so I'm going to try to put just very light pressure on it so that it doesn't fall out. Now, if you have a pencil and every time you sharpen it, this falls out because it's all broken in here, it's a good idea to grab an X-Acto knife or um, like a carpet cutting knife or something, even just a kitchen knife, carefully sharpen the pencil this way with a knife, somehow it holds this in much better and you're not gonna have a breakage problem. So if you need to, you can do it that way. I have done it for years and anytime I have a problem like this, 
this is a little loose. Um, and I keep losing the pencil every time I try to sharpen it and there's less and less and less of it, I definitely go for a knife. So we have a bunch of little seeds in all the different colors. Now, what you will see on a strawberry is where the um, reflection of the light touches. It's gonna be not completely in the middle, but like in the upper portion of <laughs> the center here, over here and over here. And not do not outline the seeds directly, leave a little bit of space and draw a white line around them in that area. You're not going to see it, but just try to pay attention to where, where you're doing it. It doesn't have to go all the way around all of them. If you need to see it, you can look from a different angle, not from the top, but from the side, and you will be able to see a little bit of a um, gloss from your pencil. And that'll help you to know what you have outlined already. That's the that's tricky thing with the white pencil. But this is going to help us um, leave the shine on the strawberry without having to have a lot of work with this. Now, right here, there's gonna be more shine. So we're gonna go further from the line. Gonna make it a little bit bolder. And then once we color the strawberry with our red, this is going to be left lighter. It's going to give it that nice shine. Okay, we're gonna go with that much. I know this is hard to see, you just know that I'm doing it, but I hope that what I'm saying is helpful. And we're gonna add just a few a little further away from it. That's gonna help us as well. All right. Now this is not the only thing. We're also going to add the lighter colors. And then we're gonna go for the dark colors. So, right up here with this uneven shape. We're gonna add some pink. Now, in order to get just a lighter color from the pencil, don't hold it close. This is gonna help you for um, strong, deep colors. If you hold it further, and actually the further you hold it, the lighter color you're gonna get because you're not adding so much pressure on the pencil anymore. So this is really, really helpful. Making light color when you hold it this way really close, that's that's really hard. So um, hold it further, it'll kind of do it all on its own. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of that right here. Now we're gonna come back with the dark orange and we're gonna add it here, almost to the top. Again, I'm not so, so dark. And don't worry, we're gonna come back and blend a little bit so that it's not so hard of a line between these. We're gonna come closer here And a little 
bit here. There's a lot of off shapes. <laughs> so a strawberry is not much of a fruit where you can just go ahead and use basic shapes all the time because there's a lot of unevenness going on. So that also allows you a little bit of freedom and you don't have to worry about, did I get that circle perfect? Or, you know, stuff like that. You can um, chill about it quite a bit. Okay, and now with our dark red, again, hold it further in the beginning and color in the rest. And you should be able to see some of that white come through. I would say if you have um, a paper that has more texture, it might work even better. I am using cardstock and it's directly on a table so there's not far down that the pressure of the pencil can go. So it's not really creating depth in the paper. Um, if you draw in a sketchbook, that's actually going to be easier, but you're also going to be left with marks on the other paper underneath. Okay, and now we're going to start adding our darks. Now we're going to start going around these shapes. It'll help us to make the appearance that the seeds are set inside. Up here is going to be dark. Now it's looking really pale. So now that we have this as our basis, let's go ahead. Let's hold the pencil closer again and let's dig in. This time you're not going to draw over the seeds anymore. You're going to go nicely around them. And anytime you come close to the other colors, lighten up. This is where we're gonna blend. This is where you progressively ease on the pressure. So always put more pressure on the edge and then lighten up going inward. So 
also gonna come around this side around these seeds still with more color now it's starting to look a little bit more dimensional not only around the white, but back right around these seeds. Gonna take another color back to the dark orange and basically continue the same thing in these other areas where we already had this color. Nicely around. Leave some space, we're going to color in the pink as well. We're starting to lose visual on these seats, but we're going to come back and we're going to emphasize them in a little bit. So what's missing? Our shadows. We're gonna come back. This is actually not black, this is a dark brown. Wow, look at that, it's misspelled. Good one. Okay, that's okay. We can deal with that. We're gonna add our dark color on the bottom. And on this side. So not only are we adding darks to the strawberry itself, but to the seeds.
again, darker on the side, lighter going towards the center. There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the dark orange just to make it look a little bit more juicy, fresh. Good. Let's do the leaves. That's pre-drawn. Let's start with the ones that are in the back. There's going to be more shadow there. Once the area is at its darkest, then you're going to go and lighten again. You can back up a little bit if you need to. If it's harder to control, uh, for you when you're holding it in the front at the tip of the pencil then go ahead and back up with your fingers a little bit and again it will let you lighten up really easily
sometimes you can see the veins lighter. So we're gonna make really thin lines here that we're gonna fill in. There we go. Now this is where we're gonna go down with some with some black um, for the final shadow under the strawberry. So you got your darkest and you're going to start decreasing pressure as you go out. You can do it using ovals. Or just straight lines. And if you do have a white gel pen or a white marker, you can also go ahead and use that for emphasizing some of the light areas on the seeds or around the strawberry um, here around these light parts, if you really want to emphasize it. Let me get mine. It's again a Kohenor marker. It's called White Permanent. And 
let's give it a try. It's going to be a good test to see how it holds up over um, these colored pencils. Okay, I see a little bit. As usual, the tip does get a little bit discolored. You can clean that up on the side. Seems like the dabbing works a little bit better than drawing a straight line. If you want to know what I'm doing, I'm actually cleaning it on my hand. There we go. And I think that this strawberry is done. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would prefer next time or any questions that you still have about this particular drawing. And if there's something that you would like to learn, uh, let me know in the comments. I might be able to do it for you and I can Next time I'm able, I can do another narrated tutorial. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.